Real quick, I want to let everyone know I am selling these three plushies, an Italian ball, an Irish ball, and a French ball, but they're only here for a limited time. These things are selling fast, and when this countdown is over, I'll never be able to sell them again. I'm actually a little surprised that the Irish ball hasn't sold the most. I always thought people really love Ireland. And also, we can't forget about the pizza ball himself. He's here too. So check out that link down below in the description to makeship.com to reserve yours today. So I'm going to attempt to take over the entire world as Germany in less than three hours. Every single one of these countries will be part of our German... Uh, Right, I don't know if I should say that. Our German empire, but hopefully I can do it in time. I have taken over every country in the world in the past, but I think I did it with like three hours and 20 minutes on the clock. I was able to learn a lot playing as India, so I think I might be able to do this. I'm gonna play as this dark red Germany, and let's let the countdown begin. There it goes. I will not be able to stop. I can only reset it. So even if I have to go to the restroom, I'm gonna be screwed. Which now that you mention it, my bladder's kind of filling. Okay, what do I do again? I gotta click on all these buttons to, so that they stop like bouncing around in the corner. Okay, biggest thing is to only use my nukes on five-star countries. That's a number one strategy. We also need to attack all the countries that are like really weak. Oh, first of all, let me get more factories. So we need to go after island nations. They are really weak. Um, we need to pick up as much points as possible like immediately. I don't even know why I'm exploring Europe right now. Like we already know Europe is going to be too difficult to take over. The biggest issue I'm going to have with a campaign like this is making mistakes. The more mistakes I make, the more it's going to add to my time. I think it can be done under three hours. I just, I really only have a little bit of room. Maybe, maybe no room for mistakes. And because I'm rushing, I probably like will forget like, oh, does this country have a navy? Does this country have an air force? It looks like Jamaica and Haiti are pretty easy targets. Let's see our first country as Germany. We are attacking Jamaica first. I don't even really know why. Also, we need to keep in mind, we need to station our military in different parts of the world. That way, like, it's not traveling all the way on the other side of the globe, and it's taking an extra, like, 10 seconds, because that'll really add up. Okay, we have distillery. Also, cannot forget that um, to, to, like, go after the factories. Sometimes I forget to improve factories, and that means I'm making less gold per second. Haiti is next, and then I'll probably skip over, skip over the Dominican Republic. They're already at two stars. There's gotta be some way weaker places to go after. Very nice that none of the Caribbean nations have a navy. I'm not sure why that is. But that's great. I don't have to waste any gold on that. Trade deal. Okay, so the big thing with the trade deals, too, is I need to increase my cargo. Problem with increasing my cargo, it's gonna take 2,000 gold. Do I really want to wait to get that gold? Also, I am afraid that I'm gonna, like, forget this information China, Ginger, and then back to Italy. I almost forgot the trade deal one time because I went to war so many other times that the notification got sent way down below. The other really annoying thing is when countries try to invade me, that's also going to slow me down or when rebels pop up. I'm a little paranoid. Also, don't want to forget this small island. I think I forgot Trinidad and Tobago last time. Come on back to South America. We're going to go after South America, clean up all the small nations here. Panama has basically nothing, so I'll take that. Uruguay can't be that power. Oh, they are. Oh, never mind. And they have oil for us. Nicaragua is next. So we're running out of really weak places in uh, the Americas to attack. I mean, El Salvador will be easy, and then Honduras, but that's about it. Shipyard from the Bahamas, and the Bahamas didn't even have a navy, so I don't know what they were using that shipyard for. Should I be funding rebels? Again, I, I am a little bit nervous about funding rebels and then them popping up against me. And again, that's going to be really annoying to have to put down rebels. Okay, so we have our first foreign attack. It's Jamaica. France is trying to take that from us. The question is, how much do I invest in Jamaica? And Honduras is going to try to rebel too. I don't have the money right now, guys. If you could not do that. See, this is where mistakes are going to be made. Okay, I, I need to find a plane to crash. Should be able to handle Guyana pretty easily. See, I'm going so fast that I am forgetting to uh, help out with- wow, we already have a nuke. All right, what country do we want to nuke first? The problem is I can use a nuke on a nation that's like three stars and just get it instantly. I know I said that I should be nuking five-star nations only, but if I nuke a five-star nation, I don't have even close to the amount of gold to be able to take over even a two and a half star country at this point. Oh, there goes France. France is going to Jamaica. Well, I think you just kind of volunteered yourself to be nuked first. I'm cool with that. Are we even going to keep this? Okay, we are victorious, but that was close. And the rebellions have been stopped in Honduras. Oh, this code's going to be annoying. 166, and then I got to find... Oh, I wonder if they do... Is everything out of order so that it makes it, like, slower, makes it harder to find the country? Okay, we're nuking France as Germany. That just makes sense. Cost 2,000 to increase our cargo. What do I do about the cargo thing? I'm gonna get a lot of money when I... Okay, we, we nuked Brittany. We didn't even nuke, like, Paris. So, whenever we're ready for that, we can take over France. France is gonna give us a lot of resources, so maybe they have an air force, though. Air force and a navy, which is gonna be expensive to get. And it's only cheap. I can only... Yeah, that's not gonna happen for a while. Okay, we'll come back to you. Albania, you're just too weak right now. I will take that. And North Macedonia. Can I 
Oh, okay. No, I can't do it at the same time. Shoes from Albania, and I don't know what North Macedonia is going to give us. Something. I'm probably not going to increase my cargo to the max, because that's going to just take way too much time. Chemicals from North Macedonia. Should we be worried about that? Moldova does not have an air force or navy. Love countries like that, right now at least, because it gets really complicated once they do start getting up those things. No invaders just yet. Looks like no one's trying to attack us. Cyprus is a good next option. 17 more countries, or pretty much 16 now, in order for us to get the next nuke. And again, that's probably just going to have to go into another five-star nation. And I probably will not have France covered at that point. Uh, we will not have taken it over. I will start pushing a little bit into Africa, because why not? We have everything covered in South America that I can legitimately get. I don't know why Costa Rica is so powerful, and Guatemala is also pretty strong. Yeah, I think America is done for now. There's no one really weak that, yeah, super easy to walk into. Oh, uh oh. I did, did I... I didn't colonize that, right? Okay, I think I just explored that. Oh man, I really thought I sent my army accidentally to go ahead and attack Argentina right now. Argentina is a little too powerful for me. Okay, I'm going to increase my cargo by one. So we have more units that we can buy of ginger in China. I think we're just going to go ahead and do that now. It's going to give me so much money. And then I'll go ahead and explore more areas this way. What does uh, this place have in terms of stuff? Coffee beans. Why Nepal has an air force? I have no idea. I guess we'll just walk into Bhutan. I really want to buy an expensive air force right now. Should I increase my cargo one more time? time. If I crash one more plane, I could get 400 units of ginger. Where's the planes at? Come on, gang. Give me the planes. There we go. There's one. Okay. All right. That feels good. Oh, wait. Now I have to buy the ginger. Whoops. Foreign attack on Albania and rebel update in Honduras. Uh-oh. Who's attacking Albania? The Netherlands? All right. That's fine. Oh, did my trade deal change? I think it did change. Oh, I think I let it go by for too long. That might have been a mistake. It's now India. I got to buy paper and then go to South Africa. Uh-oh. The other deal was way better. I think I just lost a bunch of money because of that. I didn't even know paper was possible to buy in this game. And I don't even have all the money. Ooh, Ooh, see, I might have made a, a kind of a big mistake early on. I was increasing my cargo, but then I forgot I had to buy the product first. Also, this paper is more expensive than the ginger from China. I didn't realize that the time could run out. What's another, like, weak country? Okay, Gabon. There we go. Oh, there's a bunch right here. Okay, so we're going to walk into a couple of these. Uh, we stopped the Netherlands in Albania. Oil rigs in Gabon. And I'll go into the Republic of Congo. Wait a second. Do we have a navy? We do have a slight navy. I'm going to buy an air force real quick. That's a slightly waste of money, but I don't want to accidentally walk into a nation where I don't don't see they had an air force and then lose a battle. Okay, how do I get more money? I mean, I could just do the trade deal, buy the paper, all the paper right now, and get the, you know, get a pretty good amount of money, but the risk is we don't know when the next trade deal is going to be coming on in. I've got 40, 45 units of paper. I need to stop wasting some of the money on uh, an air force. Here we go. Okay, Benin is just weak enough. Yeah, my royal army should be fine walking into Benin. No more buying navies and air force. Too expensive. Liberia as well should be easy enough. Okay, give me that. Uh, we are currently making 23 gold per second. Now 24 with Liberia's shipyard, a part of the empire. Okay, and I think we can probably try to buy the paper now. Uh, 83 units of paper. What is this? Oh, wow. I didn't even know this window was a part of the game. I've never clicked on my own cargo ship before. And I did that on complete accident. Okay, yeah, we're going to go to Togo. Mine iron. What is this? Redstone? Somehow the country of Sierra Leone has found Minecraft redstone. You know, they must be geniuses if they're using that stuff. I still don't even know how that stuff works. The more time that goes by, the more money the planes give us. Okay, we're picking up a lot of stuff in Africa. Maybe we should have just gone after Africa first because I was too busy like looking for nations in the Western Hemisphere and there's not much in Europe as it is. 112. I need to get to at least 200, right? Someone's going to attack booty. I don't think so. It's the Netherlands again. Very tempting, Netherlands. You're making me possibly want to nuke you, but they're only a three-star nation. Good thing about nuking a three-star nation is I can get it instantly, but I think it's a waste of a nuke. And like I said, in the previous game where I took over every country, it took me about three hours and 20 minutes. I think we can save 20 minutes if we only nuke five-star nations, maybe. Why is it just Honduras? Honduras continues to try to rebel. They really don't like this German empire. Oh my gosh, 145. Increase my army right there. Almost sent them in prop with like zero men, like one dude. There's a ton of factories that I have not clicked on just yet and, and improved. That is not good. It's a nice like bright yellow. Oh, can we get Chad already? No, I think, yeah, Chad's pretty strong. I forgot about that. Of course, Chad is strong. Oh, Tunisia really weak. And they don't even have a navy? Why is Tunisia so easily accessible? What are you doing, Netherlands? I don't think so. Even if we lost a small nation like this, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's when a AI takes over a big nation. That one, that, that hurts. We're only getting one resource from these smaller countries. We will be getting a lot more once we take over the two-star nations and the three-star nations. I feel like if I had a bunch of money in my bank account right now, I'd be wasting it on things like an Air Force that isn't super... There's so many weak nations still around that, you know, we don't need the money immediately. I'm still chilling. There's plenty of places I can attack, especially in this continent. I knew I probably didn't get the factory here in Trinidad and Tobago. It's, it just 
flies so under the radar. Is this trade deal gone again? Now Italy and statues. This is 80 gold. Wait, what? Wait, wait. I think I think it's South Africa that wanted to buy the paper. Okay. Whoo. Okay. I don't get my full 200. I got over 200 units. Okay. Uh, that could have been really bad. I'm rushing and I'm making mistakes. Okay. I need to buy statues from Italy and we're actually selling it back to ourselves, Germany. Strange, but all right. What, what kind of statues are we making? Do I want to know? So we have 30,000 gold. It's better than where we were, but it could have been done a little bit more efficiently. At 240 units, I didn't have the full 400. Okay, so now we should be able to take over pretty much any country with just a navy, or just an air for, uh, army. I only want to deal with the armies right now. And it is nuke time. Okay, we have copper mines from Armenia. So we get two nukes here. I say like Britain and Spain, maybe? Just because they're close. And Tunisia is trying to rebel. I don't think so. 324? 324? I swear, if I ever mess up one of the codes, like the nuke should just go off immediately in my country. Like it should just blow up in your face. Honestly, I should just pick whatever nation that I see first it's probably five stars Spain and the UK that's probably the ones that I'm gonna nuke probably have enough money to take one of those over well actually no that would still be very expensive and here's my gift nuke I'd like to go after the UK and there they are perfect I have to put the code in for the second time I see oh and the nuke was already stationed there that's nice wait I think the nuke automatically goes to the closest port you stop moving screen need this tobacco from Mal Mal Malawi definitely mispronounced that Senegal is now being attacked oh man if you don't know your geography that you could also be in trouble wait since I have all this money wait real quick should I just buy the statues now? Buy max statues? Yeah, let's do that. Buy max statues. Wait a second. Should I increase the cargo and then buy a little bit more? I can increase it to 500. Do I want to wait? I don't think I'm going to wait. I'm going to. I'm just going to go for it and sell it. Yeah, because I want the money back. So I sell it back to Germany. I don't, again, what we're doing with the statue? God knows. <laughs> we're making, uh, yeah, the Statue of, of Liberties. Okay, I'm going to sell all. Okay, so I got some money back. I, I have additional money. I think that was worth it. 7,000 extra gold for pretty much 10 seconds. It's probably way slower to attack these small nations than to go after one big five-star nation that I just nuked because that's a attack five small nations to get an equal amount to a five-star nation going after these landlocked areas um okay so we're stopping all the ai invasions and the rebellions Put those numbers back up we'll go after uganda oh, and then atreya next wow almost missed this one. Oh yeah you guys were already going back through the red sea just make a little pit stop do a little drive-by on this country okay zinc and then there's a bunch of factories i haven't improved down here that's the other thing about attacking five little nations is it's likely that i'm going to forget one of the factories forget to improve one of them 37 gold per turn i like it and then we'll take out uh both of these small landlock areas and there's still so many landlocked places we can still attack without a navy some of them might have an air force wait don't go all the way back come back okay yes i will take the farms okay i'm now nearing the range where i can probably go after one of these guys one of these big boys is going down and i honestly think it should be france first I'm just keep an eye on my money right here all right that's that's good i just need to have one extra france is at 50 at everything oh okay actually i only need 50 oh yeah plenty we're doing fine okay boom colonizing france okay so i'm gonna pick up i think i might have enough money to get all three of these guys right now i I also am 14 countries away from another nuke. I will not be gifted a nuke on this round, though. So just one. Maybe Italy. Honduras, chill. Honduras, come on. Now, with these bigger countries, I need to be more careful, though. If I lose a big country, it's going to be super painful. Like, the most painful experience of my life. Uh, we get wine from France, truck factories, car parts. Oh, my gosh, so much. So I've pretty much just destroyed my entire military to win in France, but that's okay. It's all under 50 there. I'm going to go Spain next. I spent a little bit extra than I needed. Ooh, I'm down to 15,000. Are we going to be able to take out the UK? Maybe we won't. Good fun, Rebels. I think this stuff is worth it because we get five extra gold per turn in like the span of 10 seconds instead of going around trying to find a small country that's landlocked without an air force, without a navy. Pigs and olive oil and wine. Wine in Spain? UK again is all under 50. Okay, I think I, as long as I don't make a mistake buying this stuff, I think I can get it 50. Oh, it's going to be close. No, no, we got it, I think. Nice. Just barely. I only have 3,000 gold, but okay, so here's a ton of r new resources. We just get to walk on over. Air Force lands. We're doing the Blitzkrieg tactics. Clearly, Air Force got there first, then the tanks probably rolled in, then the personnel. Oh, the Bahamas. Who's attacking the Bahamas? Uh, Hungary. Hungary? Hungary, I will eat you right now. UK has cars, heavy machinery, petroleum, and distillery because, of course... All right, look at Europe already. That's looking good. Now, we keep going after the smaller places. Um, what was the trade? We don't have any more trade deals, right? Yes. I think we've ran out of trade deals. I know for sure we're making better time than last time. Not bad. It's been 35 minutes. Okay. But the further we go into this game, the more mistakes that I will probably make. We've pretty much cleared out all the very easy stuff in Africa. Azerbaijan is a two star. How about Central Asia? There's some tough ones in Central Asia, if I remember correctly, but not Tajikistan. We've almost discovered every country on earth. Ooh, Sri Lanka, pretty tough as well. Here we go. Cambodian Laos. Now, Laos has an air force. That's okay. Go after Laos and then maybe Nepal next, but hold on. What, what you got, Tajikistan? Gold. There we go. I feel like you should get more gold per turn when the resource is gold, right? It only makes sense. And wait, hold up. Go to Cambodia real quick, and then I'll be able to improve those 
factories right now. Of course, Vietnam is powerful. I, I like that. Accurate. Okay, and now Nepal. Hopefully, we can find a Yeti somewhere in there to get into the military. Imagine having, like, a military-equipped Yeti on your side. It'd be unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Bosnia is easy. Rebels in Tunisia. The rebels haven't gotten too big just yet. Okay, so I'm now making more gold per turn than I'm spending, even by like going around all these countries and trying to pick them all up. Get a nuke in four more countries. Who else is weak? Singapore is not that weak. I will definitely forget Singapore at the end of this game. I bet you that's like the last country I can't remember to take over. Okay, I think I need to start spending a bit more now. Oh wait, no, Estonia's got nothing. I thought Iceland was weak. Why haven't I messed with Iceland? Broadcast casting equipment broadcasting equipment I can't even talk anymore getting 800 gold for taking out planes Iceland should have more than they should have at least like geothermic power or something with the volcano but it, I think it's supposed to take place in like World War one or World War two um oh, the Bahamas haven't oh no the Bahamas has been attacked I think I need to oh we're good we stopped rebels in Tunisia wait I think Papua New Guinea is weak we should go to Papua New Guinea there we go and this is the last one so I'm already beginning to, to attack nations with like a small Navy small Air Force but I think this is a about it. New Zealand is not a five-star nation like Australia, but I think they're like two and a half, three, yeah. Any more trade deals? Still no trade deals. We're making plenty of money, but still. If I had a good memory, I'd try to attack the nations that have more resources than maybe their military looks like they would have. Sometimes you'll attack a two-star nation, but they have three resources. I'm gonna pick up Sri Lanka. I thought Sri Lanka was weaker, but you know, we need to start pushing forward in some things. Also, Africa. This is it. This is, this is pretty, pretty strong. I don't really want to mess with this. Madagascar, maybe? Yeah, Madagascar looks good. Oh, here's another trade deal. 800 Japan horses back to Italy, okay? Oh, and actually, we already have our nuke. Okay, gonna go ahead and send this over right now. Do I want to increase my cargo? Maybe I will. Just, I'm gonna increase it once. Don't even think I could buy 600 units, but let me see. Uh, also, I have to nuke somebody. Uh, real quick, let me nuke somebody so I don't forget. I'm just gonna nuke Italy. Uh, 385, please be easy to find Italy. Maybe not. You know what? We're doing Mexico, just because it's right there. Sorry, Mexico. Mexico is a five-star nation. Got a little nervous for a second there. I thought, wait a second, is it a five-star nation? Okay, he, we are here in Japan. I'm gonna buy max horses. All right, so maybe increasing cargo is not worth it. I need to remember that we're selling this back to Italy. So we bought all of Italy's statues. Now Italy wants horses. Okay, we are 20 nations away from uh, two more nukes. Let me make sure I improve this factory in Papua New Guinea. Again, it's gold. I'm gonna buy max. Okay, that's 511. Do I want to wait to go max. Doing 65 gold per turn. That feels pretty good. Afghanistan's probably the next nation I want to attack. Famous last words. Okay, I don't think I'm going to wait anymore. I don't think I'm going to get to the full 600. I'm just going to take this and move on. I want to keep attacking other countries. Okay, sell all the horses. Boom. 10,000. Okay, nice. My problems when I have to start scrolling down with these military windows. That part sucks. Okay, Afghanistan is actually weak. I don't know why I bought that big of a military. We didn't need that much, but that's okay. Ecuador's got all three things. Okay, yeah, we're going to do um, Costa Rica in Tunisia, please chill. It's always the same nations that are trying to rebel. Approaching the two hour mark. I mean, we still have 15 more minutes. Oh, I didn't even see Belize. Watch Costa Rica only have one thing. See, this is what I'm saying. You spend a bunch and then they only have like one resource. Oh, they have two. Okay. Sugar from Belize. I will take that. Oh, do I want to get, get Mexico? Yeah, let's just get Mexico real quick. I forgot about that. So there's still several five star nations. The USA, Canada, Brazil, Italy, Australia, China, India. I think that's about it. Oh, Russia too. Yeah, big old Russia. It's China that's attacking. So China's now doing their own imperialization of Africa, I guess. Now that I've kicked out a lot of the Europeans. They're trying to take my stuff though. I don't think so. A chair factory. What a strange factory. Car, truck. This is interesting. Mexico. Oh man, 16 more nations. Starting to get a little nervous. These guys are looking harder and harder. I guess we do Denmark. I'm only like 0.2 ahead of their like army stuff, but I think that doesn't matter. Any more trade deals? All the trade deals are gonna kind of suck now. I, I don't get like a ton of profit from them anymore. Also, we need to choose the careful, the countries carefully, which ones we're attacking next. Okay, pigs and medical stuff. Okay, Bosnia shoes. What do you got, Croatia? You got nothing. Okay, I will take Croatia and then Slovenia. These are the nice weak places I need. Maybe Azerbaijan next. Hurry up, win it, win it. Sucks I can only send my military out uh, once per, wait, did we? Did we lose that? I think I did lose that. Wait, did I? Oh, oh, they have two star. Oh man, I lost that. Okay, I, I guess I just wasted time, but it's not that big of a deal. Ouch. Oh, I wasted gold too. That's right. Oh, it's like my second big mistake. That isn't, that isn't even as big as the first one. Like me missing that big trade deal in the beginning. Okay, Croatia. Thank you for being so tough. Slovenia is next. Really wish I could just start going after entire continents, but I don't have the money for that. And I would definitely waste some. Oh, Mongolia. There we go, Mongolia. Nothing. Rip, win this battle. Uh, and Slovenia's got 
got cars and medication approaching 100 gold per second, which is very nice. So we were picking up countries fast in the beginning. And this is where things are really going to start to slow down and they're going to slow down even more. I'm not funding any rebels. We're just going in, coming in hot. I want to make sure I have a nice surplus of money that I don't like dip too low. Unless there's like a trade deal that happens. But even then, oh, right. France is trying to rebel. No, no, no. Oh, that's a huge rebellion too. Three stars. Okay. Um, we cannot have that happen. Three stars. How much am I going to have to spend to stop them? Yeah, 58. Well, we're at 70. I didn't need to spend that much, but yeah, we cannot lose France. And now we have Hungary trying to attack Guyana. Okay, Hungary. Hungary, what do you even got? See, I think we do want to attack nations. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm killing Hungary. I know they'll still send the attack out even if I do kill them, but I'm just going to do it anyways. I have noticed that, like, yeah, foreign invaders really slow down once you kill a lot of the big nations. Uh, I need some planes. I'm now running kind of short on gold. 10,000 is not that nice of a savings, especially when, you know, you want a lot. So whenever a trade deal pops up, you can buy a bunch. I don't really want to increase my cargo anymore. I feel like I'm actually wasting money doing that. Anybody weak in the lowlands? Not really. And there's no Luxembourg there. Belarus has cheese and fertilizer. Lithuania is going to be kind of annoying, but I'll go after Lithuania next. Lithuania is still living there. Big Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth days, I guess, in this game. Okay, here's the huge rebellion in France. We did stop them, which is great. That would have been pretty devastating if we lost France right there. Tobacco and heavy machinery. Take this. We Wait, could not defend against foreign... Wait, I thought I did. Oh, we lost control of it to Hungary. Well, luckily Guyana was not difficult to take over. It does set me back a little bit though, but it's fine. Okay, take that back. Kill off Hungary. Hungary's now dead. Portugal doesn't look fun to invade. Gonna get a little monopoly over the uh, Baltic states. Okay, so gold we're making so much per turn. It's, it's okay because I'm spending more on the military to invade these places. Sometimes my gold is actually having a problem replenishing a little bit. This should be good for Latvia. All the Baltics are mine. I think we nuke like Italy and Russia next, or I'm just gonna keep like going after the nearest five-star nation. Whatever I see in this scroll wheel, or this scroll wheel of death, that's what we'll call it. Did I lose that? I did lose that. What happened? My, oh, my air force wasn't strong enough. They had like a two-star air force. Ouch. The world's looking pretty red, but, um, not, I mean, we still have a lot to go. Picking up a lot of these big territories, like Russia, you know, the world's gonna look like, you know, closer. Can't really just zoom out and look at the world map like this. Uh, that's not a very good method to see how well I'm doing. Just about taking over every country in the world. And uh, I'm actually not even halfway there yet. I'm, I'm getting there 50%. I'm gonna start to lose a lot of battles, I think, because I'm not paying attention. I'm going too fast. Also, just because we still aren't halfway done with the time doesn't mean, and since I'm closer halfway to, like, it's gonna slow things down. The deeper we go into the game, I'm gonna be way slower at taking over these nations. So I need to be ahead of the time anyways. If I haven't taken over 50% of the world by the hour and a half mark, then I'm not gonna make this. So I gotta keep making sure I'm going fast. Another rebel update, and it's another big one. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, France. I know France loves to revolt, but this is ridiculous. I mean, I'm spending more too. I really don't wanna lose France. I don't I don't need to be spending that much on to, to put these guys down. But you never want rebels to pop up in France because that is how you get decapitated. And that is not something I'm looking to do just yet. I want is so powerful in this game. Four star air force. I start spending money on rebels, maybe. Okay, so Sudan is ours. I think we, you know what? Maybe we should start. Let's just focus on Africa. There's no five star nations here. It does get confusing though. Luckily, it's not quite as confusing because I took out France and Britain. France and Britain aiding these countries makes the math, the added math that has to be done a little bit harder. It's literally like two plus two type type math, but it's still difficult. Who's attacking Croatia? Belgium's trying to attack Croatia. South Sudan is next. Yeah, I'm focusing all my efforts here. Okay, we crushed the rebels in France. I thought I read that wrong. That was freaking me out for a second. Okay, I'll go after Cameroon. Trollium. South Sudan's got some stuff. All right. Did I lose that? Oh, they had a secret air force up here. Oh, I'm, I was so confused. Oh, I thought they just had a, an army. Okay, now we're good, but keep making mistakes like that. I was like, wait, what? I don't see that in Navy. And then they had a secret one. Okay. Cameroon with their secret, uh, incognito tactics. Okay, so we beat uh, Belgium and Croatia. Yeah, things slow down also because the battles are bigger, so it takes longer for me to like completely kill all their personnel. It's not like an instant squish like we were doing before. Golden oil, that doesn't go wrong with that. Nothing can go wrong with that. Still just hovering around that 10,000 gold mark. I need three more nations to attack. Maybe Mauritania. Yeah, Mauritania looks nice and weak. Cocoa beans and rubber. Need some weaker countries. Madagascar does not have an air force, but we do need to watch their powerful penguins. Okay, again, Guyana with the rebels. Rebels, please stop. Oh, I forgot that I lost Guyana, so I had to re-improve the factory. Okay, trade deal. Uh, 13,000 South Africa silver, and then we sell that to the US. Uh, should I just do it quickly? I'm gonna go down there, see how much I can get for 15,000 gold. Or should I just focus on getting my nuke first? Here, let me improve all this first. Uh, silver, 
I can also buy silk for 90, but I don't know who wants... Yeah, no, that, that won't work. Um, I got 200 units for some quick gold. Maybe I will just do it right now. Maybe this is bad, though. I should have just waited. I'm already back to 2,000 because we're making so much gold per turn. Okay, okay, go back, go back. Never mind, never mind. How long do I want to sit here and wait? Should I sit here and take out airplanes to buy more of this silver? Where'd that other stuff go? Okay. That was worth it. I need more airplanes. Give me the airplanes. You'd think there would be some sort of lawsuit against Germany by now. How often planes go down. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and call it at 340. That's fine. 365. Alright, that's better than 200. It's better than 200. Only one more country. Maybe I should've... Uh, let's just do this now. Okay, so that's better. Made some of that money back. I think we should start funding rebels. It's only 500 to give us an extra star. Even if we have to deal with the consequences later. I mean, rebels aren't as big of an issue. Italy's attacking Trinidad and Tobago, but that's okay because I'll nuke Italy. Four, five, six. Seven. Is this the extra nuke? Do I get the extra nuke here? I think I do. Okay, press the big red button. While the nuke is dropping, I will attack more nations. And I will take over Italy immediately now. Actually, we're going to take over two five-star nations right away, right? Or no. Yes, because I got the bonus. There's the bonus. I say Russia. Let's just get Russia out of here. It's going to make me feel pretty good to see all the red across the map, even though, like we said, that doesn't matter. Or the USA, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to do USA. Never mind. It's, it's easier to find the USA. I don't want to have to keep scrolling to find Russia. Wait, who did I take over right now? There's a factory that I did not improve. Okay, well, whatever. Or maybe I didn't. Did I lose that? Don't tell me I lost it again. I think I might have. I did lose this war in Mali. Oh my gosh, how many battles am I going to keep on losing? Keep wasting gold. Another huge rebellion in... Okay, this has got to stop. How much of France's population do I have to kill to get them to stop? Yeah, this I, this is costing me so much money to continue to put these things down. Okay, well, we won in Italy. Pasta factory, because of course, Italy. The nuke has been dropped in the USA. So now there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's six five-star nations remaining. This is not looking good. I see that there is still more than half the nations are still left. Why did I think we were going to be making it getting faster? Now, yeah, there's still half the nations left. Okay, we're still not at 90 minutes remaining, so that, that's good. Things have really slowed down. They stopped the rebels in France, thank you. But man, I, I have to spend like 15,000 gold to keep, you know, continuing to stop them. Did I like get a five-star nation just too early on? Or is this just a France thing? I wonder if I should spend the money. Well, I don't have that much extra cash on me. Senegal is being attacked by the Netherlands. If I should spend the money to attack the big nations right now, but I, yeah, I don't have like just money offhand. Penguins are going down. 116 gold per turn is not bad. And now it's at 118. Oh yeah, let's take out Guatemala. Wait, was Guatemala three stars? Okay, yeah, funny in the rebels. I could take over most of the Western Hemisphere now, and these countries aren't super powerful. Guatemala, you better give me a lot of stuff for this. You're a small nation, so I feel like it might not have been worth it. Okay, there's three stuff there. I'll take that, I guess. North America is almost completely ours, except for Canada and Cuba. That's it. I could take over Cuba, but that looks a little annoying. Actually, maybe I will. We're selling narcotics and we're spreading propaganda, religious propaganda in Cuba. What could they be worried about? Oh my gosh, France, France, please. Please, France! What do I have to do? They really don't like Germany. Cuba is ours. Luckily, there's lots of stuff in Cuba. I'm gonna be super inefficient with my spending here, I think. Oh, got no more money, but we're gonna go into Venezuela. I'd like to take out, like, some European powers like Portugal and the Netherlands soon. Venezuela with the mine ore, the chemicals, the petroleum. That's the big one for Venezuela. Maybe just Colombia next? Wait, can I even... Do I even have the money for this? I just now realized our best friends should be the landlocked countries. I need to just completely wipe out landlocked countries. That way I don't ever have to worry about the Navy with them. But I kind of want to stay away from the Russian-owned country. Like, I should kill Russia first and then worry about the countries that are being protected by Russia. Well, they got diamonds in Zimbabwe? We are over 50% of the way done and making okay time. That's, I don't know if extra 10 minutes is enough. One more diamonds in Botswana. Finally, a trade deal. Tea from Australia to, of course, India. India is still making the British proud, I guess. Now, before I nuke anybody, I'm going to go ahead and try to get that deal going. Lesotho is being attacked in a Kind of a bigger rebellion in Mali. Don't tell me these rebellions are going to keep on getting bigger. Okay, we are in Australia. I'm going to buy all the tea. Let's see. Oh, we're pretty close to our maximum. I want to sit here and babysit. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll just continue to tap on this until we get to perfect 600. Nice. Okay, now we go to India. Give them this. And then I nuke somebody. I don't know who I'm going to nuke, though. Okay, sell so all 63,000 gold. Makes me feel a little better. Oh, we should probably nuke Russia. Three, whoops, four, two, three. Where's Russia? How are you doing the math on those countries over there? Oh, crap, I can't find it. Russia. <sighs> okay, where? Well, I couldn't see where it was. Does this give me, do I have a bonus one? I can't even remember. With all this gold, let's take out Portugal and the Netherlands, because they're still protecting a couple African countries. Apparently, take out the European power that like um owns them or protects them doesn't necessarily do anything to the navy they're to the 
the other person. Does that make any sense? The country still then just gets the extra support. Wait, why am I doing this one? I should just take out Russia real quick. Yeah, we just nuked. Okay, so we don't get the bonus one. That's fine. Stopped the rebels in Mali. Australia doesn't protect too much. Okay, so I think that's right. We go Russia, Portugal, and the Netherlands next. Not nuke-wise. I just, that, that means who we take over next. Do I want to help? Let's, yeah, fund these rebels. Making 156 gold per turn, so when the army takes, when they have to go like halfway across the globe, and then to finally end them, I mean, we make a lot of our gold back, just because it's like, okay, so chocolate from Russia, fertilizer, diamonds, petroleum, petroleum products, and petroleum? Okay, now I focus, focus on Portugal. Is Portugal stronger than 50? Oh, yeah. Can I fund rebels here? I cannot fund rebels in Portugal. What? Okay, so no more trade deals for a second. That'd been nice. If there's one more that pops up, that'd be really nice. I've got so much gold. I could also increase my cargo range. Should I do that though? I'm making enough work. Maybe I should just go to it. I'm gonna just do it. Maybe that was a bad idea, but I'm now at the full cargo. I think we're gonna be okay. I think I'm starting to make so much gold that it, yeah, we're just always gonna be making more and more. Okay, so three resources from Portugal, and now we go after the Netherlands. Big German ball right next to the, the Netherlands. I can't even see it. Oh, there's 60s all around. Okay, so we need to get to 61. This is gonna be an expensive battle, but I have the extra money on hand. Guess we might as well do it, because I was never gonna nuke the Dutch anyways. Okay, yeah, that was expensive, but we don't have to walk far to get there. Belgium, also gonna be pretty expensive. Do we waste the money while we have it right now? Probably. We're only gonna get three resources out of both these countries, I'm guessing. Wish you guys could take them out way faster. Oh, you know what? We get four. Okay, so maybe this is good. Yeah, four is pretty nice. Okay, maybe that's worth it. Belgium's the same way. Ooh, how's their army stronger than the Dutch? What's up with that? They're at 61. The Dutch were at 60. I wanna double check with some of these bigger battles I, I kind of double check to make sure my military is not gonna lose it gotta make sure that I don't make a big mistake on a big battle big three-star battle with somebody Do we go after the Switzerland next I think no I think these places can chill I don't gotta worry too much about them there's still a lot of other uh, cheaper nations for me to take over I think uh, Ireland's not quite as bad but there's still easier ones out there I think I feel like every country later in this game it just has diamonds they all have diamonds well, and of course chocolate what is more valuable does Greece really not have a navy Greece does not have a navy what is up with that all right I'll attack Greece then next. I don't have to worry about the Navy. Down to 12,000 gold per turn. Okay, yeah, we're maybe attacking too big of countries right now. Uh-oh, Mali and the Bahamas. I don't know who's attacking the Bahamas. We have to be careful of that. I actually didn't check how big the invasion was. I just kind of clicked a couple times. Hopefully that will stop anyone. Mali and the Bahamas are not like super uh, important areas. I mean, if I have to take it back, I have to take it back. Okay, thank you, Greece. Greece had two things. Okay, see that? Maybe not, wasn't worth it. Maybe. Okay, there's gotta be some weaker countries, please. Guess Morocco. It doesn't look that far fun, but since we're basically Spain right now, we might as well do a reconquista. Okay, so we did win in the Bahamas, and it was Belgium that attacked us, so we killed them. Oh man, how many factories do I have unworked? It's probably so many. Okay, yes. A uh, nice weak Paraguay. Now, Paraguay is definitely a lot easier on the chopping block. Maybe Chile too. Chile has a navy. Argentina has a navy. Uruguay has a navy. Okay, yeah. Can continue to focus on landlocked countries, although we are running out of landlocked countries. But the end is in sight. I think there is an end in sight here. Nuke maybe like China and Japan next time. Cattle and beans. So these countries that do have a coast don't necessarily have a navy. Yeah, I think I'm going to take over the entire continent of Africa, like just straight through. There's not too much I have to worry about down here. Also, back to four. 40,000 gold, a trade deal would be nice. I should just go around, like, funding every single rebel that I see. That way I don't have to do it anymore. Maybe this is a bad idea. I've never actually tried this before. Any country that has, like, a possibility of me funding rebels, I should just go around and do it. Maybe good, maybe bad. Maybe we'll see, like, a random civil war if I don't take over the country, but the rebels just keep getting stronger and stronger. It'd be a cool part of this game. I feel like my bladder's getting bigger. Oh, Yemen. Oh, I didn't take out Yemen. Forgot that Yemen was really weak. Okay, still taking a pretty nice former British colony. China's attacking Morocco, so yeah, it'd be good to get rid of China here. Not sending that much at it, so. Oh, there's also an air force coming in. Oh, I almost missed that. Oh, don't start sending in air forces and navies. Wait a second. I don't remember that before. Okay, South Africa has three things. I kind of wanted four, but whatever, I'll take it. And Namibia. Why am I blanking on where Namibia is? Okay, Morocco's gonna get stopped or China's gonna be stopped. This red and the blue font is making things a little difficult. Oh, Navi is right in front of me. Okay. Keep on funding rebels, supplying guns. Literally walk into Yemen no matter what they have. Oh, I should probably take out Turkey. Turkey's also protecting some stuff. Yeah, literally just gonna walk into whatever Yemen has. Oh, 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 I do not have the navy. Wait, did Yemen have a navy? They did. Okay, we still won. We still won. That was risky. But thank you. I'll pick that up. Love the really quick short battle. Kenya has no air force, so thank you, Kenya. Tea and cut flowers. Nice. We needed that. Double checking, making sure all the factories are uh, good. Nice and, yeah, there's no yellows. I really just want to get all of Africa out of the way. So even though some of these countries are kind of tough. Algeria's at three stars. I'm just gonna push through. Wait, some resources cost more to upgrade? Am I now just realizing this? But they still give 
the same gold per second. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, diamonds cost more, it's 20. Why am I now just realizing this? Not you too, Spain, not you too, three star rebels. Okay, I swear, th there better not be both France and Spain trying to rise up like this. They're 59 of 60, so I, I will be able to put them down, but what is going on? This is this France during the Napoleonic era? Uh, apparently Spain was like the Vietnam for France back in those days. Germany and Spain don't have a whole lot of conflicts in the past to reference back about. This is one that I'm just like totally forgetting. Okay, Egypt is gonna be kind of annoying because I can't fund rebels and they have three stars of everything. A lot of these countries at the very end are gonna be kind of annoying. Ooh, uh, Africa cows for 80 gold to Somalia. Wait, what part of Africa? South Africa, which we now own. So I'm gonna really quick do this. I've increased my cargo to everything. I've got 89,000 gold or I've maximized the cargo. So I should be able to just buy these max, bam, and then just move up to Somalia. So we'll be at 100,000 gold at least, right? Uh, cows sell all, yeah. All right, I mean, it took like three seconds, not bad. I do need the extra money for this war with Egypt because it's expensive. Okay, we walk into Egypt next. A lot of these nations now are gonna be a little annoying like that. Should probably clean up Europe because that's also gonna slow us way, way down. Oh, Turkey's not a five-star nation. I can buy my way to victory there. It'd be expensive though. Oh, there's rebellions. There's a, there's a rebellion. Maybe that would help. I stopped them in Spain. Do we get two? now 494 494 i think i want china i'm gonna nuke china first okay, all of africa is ours thank you while we wait for that to drop i will maybe attack syria because i didn't see syria is kind of weak okay so china will be nice and easy maybe japan next japan canada i'm gonna have to buy my way to victory with one of them which is okay because i'm starting to make as enough money now oh there's brazil too i guess japan i don't know why We'll just keep with the theme, the East Asia theme. Okay, so Syria is fruit farms and olive oil. A little rebellion in Belize. I liked how it just keeps on changing. All these rebels popping up around the empire. Did I click on something accidentally? Yes, I randomly sent my cargo ship. Wait, oh yeah, I'm moving them around. Oh yeah, I need to be doing that. Okay, so now that we're not attacking Africa, I guess that is a good idea to send my military in the middle of the Atlantic because we're gonna start fighting Uruguay and all these down here. Is there like a close report for me? Mm, maybe that's South African port. Um, After they're done with this war so the next i don't get i have one bomb next right i think i have one bomb next number of countries to colonize um because i just used two so i just get one next right one two these are dead three there's three five star nations four because of india oh no wait is india five stars yes uh, to buy my way to victory in a five star nation that's gonna be really expensive i need to start being careful who i i, I might just attack Brazil? What was the last trade deal we had? It's been a minute. It was not that long ago. Going after Argentina and Chile will be rough, but we'll get rid of South America. My hand is beginning to cramp. Close to 75% of the way done, but we almost have just about an hour left to do this. There are some rebels in Chile that I can spend on. I love corn! Ooh, there's lots of stuff in Argentina that I'm getting, so that's good. I'm guessing the rebels are bigger when the country is worth more. Madagascar is like in the like middle of the road. I'm at 100,000, making 200 gold per turn. Might go ahead and just spend my way to victory in Brazil. Now, Brazil is at 99 in Navy and 98 in Air Force and Army. I'm gonna keep an eye on my gold here. By the time I start spending, I'll be at 120. Okay, I already am at 120. Bring this sucker down. Chile has less resources than Argentina. Okay, so I'm at like 125. Let's keep that in mind. I now need to click on every single button. Okay, that was really expensive. Oh boy. Oh boy, that was really expensive. Oh, I'm gonna lose all of my savings. <sighs> We're gonna be down to like 30,000. I hope this is worth it. Brazil's gonna give us five resources. Oh man, yes. Okay, that, that did suck, but we can now get rid of Brazil. Oh, you know, I'll just go ahead and fund that. Gonna colonize Brazil. So that, it takes about 100,000 gold to buy your way to victory through five stars. It's like 95 to 90. So I don't know if this was worth it. It was a good experiment. So a lot of other nations I can attack, but South America's done and Africa's done. I'm tempted to just take out Canada. Oh, I don't have the gold to take out Canada anyways, but maybe in a second I will. It's also gonna be a big old battle. Lots of, lots of people to kill. That's nice to say out loud. We should probably, go after the forgotten nation of New Zealand because I will forget that they exist. Real quick, give me those five resources from Brazil before I forget because that's a lot. Coffee and sugar and beans and iron and petroleum. Okay, now I think I need to set the base probably to uh, my, my Asian base because everything else or send them back, start cleaning up Europe. Maybe there's a lot of annoying countries here just because they're kind of strong. Oh, wow, I could have taken them out a long time ago. Oh, yeah, and I also can walk into China and Japan. I should probably do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's like some pretty easy 
resources that are just sitting on the table. Okay, you guys are gonna go there. Yeah, change to that. Get this milk and sheep and wine. Uh, another rebellion in Madagascar. Please stop. Oh, it's, it's actually a foreign invasion. Who's still invading countries at this point? Oh, Austria now does it? So smaller countries do it if the five-star nations are getting weaker. We gotta start thinking who we're gonna save the last bomb for. Still not 75% of the countries are dead just yet, but that's okay because we're getting like really valuable resources out of this. We gotta take out these countries anyways. Tires and shirts and shoes. Right now, uh, wow, look at how strong South Korea's navy is because uh, Japan really protects South Korea two and a half. So they technically have five complete total. Wait a second. South Korea is five stars. Am I just now realizing that? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, so they're trans it just transfers over. South Korea is five stars. What? Okay, so I definitely got to purchase my way to some victories here. A lot more than I expected. Don't remember that. Uh oh. Did I stop that? I think I missed uh, something. Okay, so Afghanistan, of course, is ha having a rebellion. That hasn't happened, which I'm grateful for. You'd think that would be a big hot spot. Oh, wow, Madagascar just got taken from me. That is wasting time. Great. Was it Austria that took that? This is gonna come down to the wire because a lot of these countries are gonna be tough to bring down. Okay, give me my factories back. Thank you. There's only two resources that we lost, but still kind of sucky. Gonna move, yeah, the base we're gonna move these guys back here. I'm gonna slowly start to chip away at Europe. Yeah, probably Ireland, I think. And while we wait for, like, countries to die, I need to be, like, scouting out the next place to attack. Okay, I think we're good there. Boom, walk into that. I say maybe Switzerland. Oh my gosh, Switzerland. Switzerland, jeez. Um, I guess I can... Oh man, there's so many annoying countries in Europe. Maybe Ukraine. I'll do Ukraine. 11 more countries before we can get another nuke. There's gotta be some nice easy ones. There we go, Azerbaijan. Yeah, there's gotta be some easy ones I can clean up. Let's get a little bit more gold per turn. Turn. I cannot stop saying per turn. No one's protecting Azerbaijan. Oh, I, I'm still in shock that South Korea is five stars. How did I miss this? Also would like to purchase my way to a victory in Turkey. Maybe Uzbekistan next? This is where things are really going to slow down. I mean, there's not that many countries left, but so many of these countries are hard to take over. I need a four-star military to take out Slovakia of all places. Bangladesh can't be that difficult. Oh, no, no, but let's focus on continent by continent. I've got the base already set up in Europe. Wish there was like a Black Sea base. I mean, it does have a navy. I gotta keep an eye on that. Luckily, Slovakia had a lot to offer. A lot of car stuff, weirdly. Sorry, Serbia, but no more Yugoslavia for you. There better be a distillery in Ireland. That'd be like a crime against humanity if this game didn't include that. Uh, more corn! We, we stopped them in Madagascar. Yeah, there's notifications that I'm not, like, paying attention to, and then I end up losing land. So I'm having to spend so much, even though we're doing almost 250 gold per second, I'm spending so much that it's really Really kind of flatlining my economy. I can't win a five-star nation if I needed to right now. What's Austria doing? Austria, are you going back to Madagascar? I thought that was the old notification when I, when I lost that stuff. Yep, I'm gonna lose this again. Ouch. Okay, I want to kill you now, Austria. Rebel update in Nepal. The Yetis are coming up there. We are losing progress when I lose nations like that. Central Asia has no navy, so don't really gotta worry too much about there. Five nations before a nuke, and then we are 75% of the way there. This last hour is gonna be grueling. Let's focus on Europe, but Europe's also still kind of complicated. I guess I will take over all of Central Asia. Okay, so subcontinent. Subcontinent by subcontinent. Maybe South Asia next? South Asia is not fun. That's India with five stars. Who do I nuke? Maybe Canada. If I get two, Canada and Australia would be nice, but I don't think I get two. I keep forgetting. Kazakhstan with the radioactive chemicals. That should, like, help us get nukes faster, I feel. And to plot my revenge, do I take out Austria now? I think I should. Should they never do this again? Because they keep taking that away from me, Madagascar. There's no rebels I can fund in Austria, though. Okay, I kill Austria as revenge. Oh, another trade deal. Japan, Kaf coffee to Australia. Japan coffee to Australia. That, that'll push me over 100,000 gold, I think. Don't want to waste all my money on a five-star nation yet. I should be keeping that in mind, though. When I get over 100,000, I should attack and buy a five-star nation. Okay, so that will teach you guys. Oshlist Austria. It took me this late in the game to Oshlist Austria. Something seems wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna buy Max. Perfect. Uh, was it Australia that wanted this? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, yes. Okay, Australia wants this. Take this, Australia. Be happy. 128,000. Okay, okay. I don't want to immediately uh, buy a, a five-star nation. That's just too much. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting to upgrade both my navy and uh, I see. I'm, I'm buying Czechia. It's pretty cheap. It's just a four-star military. Need to take out Turkey too. Oh, who do I nuke? Let's just do Canada or Australia because I saw how easy it was to click on Australia. Canada's at the very beginning. Boom. Canada going down. While that's dropping, uh, gonna attack one more nation. At least try to real quick. Take out Poland. And Poland is expensive. While the nuke drops on Canada, there's all the screaming Canadians. I, I heard them in the background when the camera was shaking. Ugh. Okay, finally gonna take out Poland as Germany. Hey, Poland, you lasted more than 75% of the other You lasted longer than 75% of the other countries. Shouldn't be too sad about this. Turkey? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I knew about that. Whenever I see an AI, it's like, hey, 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 what's going on? Did I do that? Did I defend that country well enough? Really cannot afford to lose countries to, to more AIs like that. That, that hurts. Okay, now 
now we take out Canada. Fun those rebels real quick. Why not? Oh man, look at this map. Feeling pretty okay about this, but these last ones are gonna be tough. There's also only 50 minutes left. What do I feel like if I don't do this in time, like a bomb's gonna go off in my room? Do we finish up by cleaning up Europe? There's still some Nordic countries I have to take out. But the Western Hemisphere is done. Africa's done. We go Turkey first, I think, just to make the map e easier with Bulgaria. Switzerland better have chocolate. Lock gold medications. Yes, yeah, Switzerland had a lot of things. Cheese. <laughs> the thing that's gonna slow me down is honestly the hand that's cramping right now. I've never clicked so many things so fast in my life. I wonder if I like switch hands if that would help. There's actually some weak places I think here. Yeah, Jordan's not super strong. Iraq is okay. Yeah, I don't have over 100,000 gold anymore, which is a little scary because I have to purchase my way for a couple people. Now I get two here. I don't even think there's 17 nations left for me to kill. Uh oh, this is gonna be a problem. I'm now just realizing. I'm gonna keep attacking non five star nations for now, to keep my gold high. Three stars should be enough to take out Bulgaria. Also, what island nations am I missing? I know I'm missing some. Okay, Nordic country's gotta be next. Just gonna buy all these. Finland, lots of rebels that can... What are, are these Vikings that I'm funding? Navy, Air War, wow. Norway's kinda strong. Turkey having a big rebellion now too, which sets me back because I need the I need the gold. Okay, I need to really pay attention to these. It's just local army to 42. Okay, I can't lose Turkey. Yeah, so Norway is stronger than Sweden, I think. Or maybe they were the same, I don't know, but still hovering around 50,000. I do not have enough money. Oh man, I don't have that much money. I don't have to sit here at the very last, like, you know, second for like 20 minutes waiting for me to accumulate gold. Finland is weak. Thank you, Finland. Stop the rebels in Turkey. That was, a, I was getting a little paranoid about that. Sweden, you better have some good stuff. It's okay. More paper. I don't remember, like, paper being a resource in this game for some reason. It'd be nice if there was, like, an update on the resources. You know, I, that's, like, one of the last things that needs to happen. Doesn't really matter, does it? Still be cool to me. Okay, we attack Israel. Lebanon. Okay, here's some nice, easier ones. The planes can keep flying in front of my face. That would also be appreciated. The longer these battles go on, the more my gold gets to tick up. Need to move the military base soon here. Oh, wow. Egypt has been unworked for a long time. This factory's sitting here for no reason. And that's probably all over the map. I've been going too fast. Almost 300 gold per second. Are we getting more trade? deals? I mean, I guess the trade deals don't really matter. Seems like AI invasions and rebellions have kind of slowed down, though. It's really nice. I'm gonna eat Jordan really quick. Give me more planes, though. Planes help me tick up a little bit more. I need to keep hitting those planes. There's three five-star nations around me, which means that I'm gonna get this nuke, I think. Uh, nine more countries. Get the nuke. Two nukes. I think it'll be two. And then buy my way to victory one. I can do that. I can buy my way to victory with one and then nuke the other two. Tire factory. Now we just slowly move west to east. North Korea is also going to be expensive. Now, North Korea doesn't have an air force, but they do have a navy. Rebel update and Uruguay. Of all places, Uruguay is 30? I don't want to lose anything. I I'm like kind of just spending to defend countries. I do not want to lose a country due to a rebellion. That would hurt. Yeah, it, it does cost extra gold to, to help out with certain resources. There's less than 20 countries remaining. Not too bad, but they're bigger. They are big ones. So it just increases by the amount I see. That's why it's expensive. Increases just every amount. 10, 20, 30, 40. Why can I fund rebels in India, but not Pakistan? I'm curious. Officially 300 gold per turn now. Oh, wow. They had a lot of stuff. Diamond. Yeah, so 303. Iran has fallen, so we're looking good. Three countries for the nuke. I can definitely get those last three countries somewhere here in Southeast Asia, I think. Approaching only 30 minutes left, though. Only two things from Pakistan? Really? Oh, trade deal. Yeah, we want this. We definitely need this Australia wheat we go to India oh we're already there okay so we're gonna buy all that there wait we didn't get the max oh no how do we not get the max that's 70,000 gold and we go to India right before we take them over imagine they just don't buy it okay boom I'm back at a hundred thousand so that was good I think that was worth it Diana still hasn't having rebels I don't think come on man you just chill this last leg of the game is just painful it's just so many small little details I can see the end in sight but yet there's all these little things I got to do and also these last countries are tough okay I need to change my base to China since we're only focused on China now. Thank you for not having an Air Force Bangladesh. Okay, so um, I think this one's for India. I'm gonna go ahead and give India a little bit of love right there. Just a little love tap. While that's flying through the air, I'm gonna just buy a bunch of this. We go after easy Malaysia. Okay, and that, if I'm right, I should get another one. I should get a little bonus one right here, and I'll drop that on maybe Australia. Oh, I don't. Oh, who I do. Okay. Okay, and this one's gonna go to Australia. Okay, so these are now easy countries for me to take over. Not quite as, actually, as annoying now. The other countries are still pretty annoying, having to, like, get over three stars and everything. Buy in South Korea and North Korea. I'm forgetting that Korean Peninsula, man. Also, Thailand's gonna be a little annoying. All right, no, sorry, Taiwan. Thailand too, I guess. India, what do you got for me? Rice farms and shirts and jewelry. All right, that's pretty all right. I'll take that. There, I count seven countries left, but the game says eight, so there is something random that I missed. Still over 100,000 gold, so I should be fine in South Korea. Where's that last one? Oh, Singapore. Never mind, it is in front of me. I knew I was going to forget Singapore. Here it is right here. Oh, and they're actually not that strong. Last time I looked at them, I was like, oh! Now I'm like, oh, this is nothing. Just need to not make any mistakes. Also need... 
there to be no rebellions. Definitely not going to remember to improve Singapore's factories. Don't tell me. Mongol update. Oh my gosh. At least it's not a big one like there was in Spain and France. Still, I mean, this is pretty late for rebellions to still be happening. Okay, the Philippines seems easy enough. Sell narcotics to the Philippines. That seems like a bad idea. I don't like that stuff over there. Singapore had three resources for me, and they weren't that powerful, so thank you, Singapore. Five countries, and then actually four countries remain after I kill the Philippines. Still need to be efficient with my money. Can't over uh, spend here, over blow it. Navy and Air Force. Jeez, Vietnam. Hey, Vietnam really bringing down my economic situation a little bit with being so tough. So is Thailand, so is North Korea. Yeah, there's factories that I'm definitely not improving. Is there a base over here somewhere? No, okay. I pretty much have my military at the closest base possible. Almost like, yeah, 4,000 gold from taking down the planes. Good thing about Taiwan is they have no Navy, interestingly enough. Also no rebels for me to fund. Let me fund these, nor oh, I did fund the no North Korean rebels. No rebels to fund in South Korea. Weird. You can fund them in Japan, but not South Korea. Wait a second. I think I actually will get my last nuke. So that means I didn't need to keep 100,000 gold. I just wanted to do it carefully, just in case I did need to buy my way, but I guess I won't have to. I, I don't think I even need to be, like, improving these factories anymore. There's no point. Move beyond the factories. Uh, North Korea has no air force. If you really learned this game, like, the back of your hand, and remembered, like, all the little small details, you could probably beat this thing really fast. You have to keep, you have to know all the stars, though, off the top of your head. Also, is it worth nuking South Korea? or do you just buy the victory? I probably could buy victory. Uh, it'd be close though, so I'm just gonna nuke it. If you really were short on time, you gotta be like nuking, taking things over. If I was short on time, I would just like leave. I, I, wouldn't, use, I wouldn't use the nuke, I think. Then you gotta get it all the way to five stars. I don't know. South Korea is the last one. You're the final country to be nuked. That's a pretty big compliment. And while that is flying through the air, we get you guys all to 60. Oh my gosh, it's just over China. Hurry up! Wow, North Korea has literally only coal mines. That's hilarious. It's, it takes so much. So then you know not to attack North Korea until the very end because that was not worth it. Just coal mines. As There's like a little, like a lot of inside jokes. Jokes. Can we kill this before I have to increase Belarus? Whatever. And boom. Consider yourself greatest dictator of all time. There's the end game screen. And we still had 26 minutes to spare. So almost sub two, uh, two and a half uh, hours. We're like speed running strategy games. Someone finds some insult. Here's the final look at the German world map. We've taken over every single country. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want more plushies, check out that link down below to makeshift for France, Italy, and Ireland. And big thanks to Twick and Hamster. The Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Austin Powers. Faja. $20 is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwal. Bornski W. Isaac. I guess. Bring back Poland Cowboys 83. Evan Price. I Go stole Raya. Drew's Pet Dog. Monday, London 5610. Philip R.S. Robert E. Rye the, the Mexican 760. And why am I doing this?